Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? So, I have not uploaded the video for spring giveaway and I hope to do so before summer. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, I went and got some more stuff. I know, this is gonna be, no kidding one of the best ever but also one of the most expensive shipping I, the, speaking of shipping i need to go ahead and say now and i'll say it in the video i'll type it in the video because on two other occasions someone one who was an international person one who was in alberia Al, alberia algeria's algiers that's where it was algeria or or algiers i can't remember which one it was but anyway the other one was Philippines, and neither of them have yet to get their packages. I don't know if it's my post office. I don't know if it is uh, back on the one from Algiers. I spent a fortune, over $400, trying to get it to them. And people were like, you're out of your mind. I'm like, I said I would send something, and I'm trying to get it to them. And I think I looked at the... Um, international slip that came back to me and they had marked I had mentioned before that I send Bibles you know with with winnings before and they listed under things that you have to declare they listed Bibles and because this went into a Muslim country I don't know if it got detained for that reason or, or um, confiscated I don't know so that may have been it, but it, it just also the fortune I was spending on shipping um, was more than the gift. That 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 particular winning, I think I'd spent around total one hundred and fifty dollars, and the shipping that came back, and then having to because it never got to them, I went back and repurchased it, purchased it. And then had to reship it again, and it was four hundred dollars by the time I was finished with it. And I'm not complaining or wee wee wee, y'all. I'm just saying, I'm not sponsored. So when I do this, it's out of my pocket. And I do have a husband. And he's like, babe, I understand you love to do this. I understand you get enjoyment out of doing um, the giveaways, but we can't afford for you to be doing that. And it, and you know, I have to honor him as well. And also, I can't afford to do that. Um, some of the things that I'm going to be doing in this one, there is going to be a sample bag. I will just give you a little heads up. And some of the samples I've received, like for instance, if I get an order from Charlotte Tilbury, if I get an order from Chanel and they send me samples, sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. And I thought, you know what? The little bags they come in are even nice. So what I'll do is, you like it may not even be, be Chanel samples, but there'll be all kinds of little samples I get in there. Or if I've gotten Etsy or Birchbox stuff that I have just, I've never opened it, I've never used it, I thought, why not include that in there? So, I'm going to. And I'm going to try one more time to resend the stuff to the little gal, Trixia, in Philippines because she doesn't have any makeup she was telling me and I just wish I could get there I understand I know that you can ship to other countries I don't know why I'm having trouble with it um, because of check double check the address so I don't know I don't know so anyway um, that being said this is going to be continental USA only continental meaning not even Alaska or any US properties like um, Puerto Rico or it, it's got to be on the continent it's, um, that's all I can afford and I just keep having shipping issues so this is already going to be very expensive for shipping because the Bible is extremely heavy the tote is full of stuff and I just went and got other stuff and one of them's huge you'll see but and I thought about that I thought Beth don't do it and I thought if I have to do it in one big huge box it'll be worth it because I just, that's what I want to be part of the prize. So, and it's going to be two different ones. I was going to make it three, but I am saving one of the um, Bibles for the summer giveaway. And therefore, because of that, y'all know I always do a Bible and a devotion. So, a devotion will be in that one. 
and um, devotional will be in that one and makeup and stuff so that one's gonna wait and so instead of having three at this time I'm gonna have um, a winner and a runner-up the other Bible there's actually four the other one um, and I will show this to you maybe when we do a Bible review of it because I will do some Bible reviews upcoming um, the Thompson chain reference I did and people have asked me to do even more but since then I found out you cannot get a, a Thompson chain reference and I'm gonna talk about that in the next time that I review that but um, this other Bible was the um, not the archaeological one what was it called the had archaeological supplements but it, and it wasn't the chronological one even though I think it no it's not chronological um, I can't remember I can't think of the word right now but anyway it also had um, study helps and things that were unique and I'm going to talk to y'all about it but I decided that I'm not going to make it part of a giveaway because I never know who's going to win these and I don't know if you um, are a brand new believer an unbeliever who wants a Bible to learn and decide if they want to be a believer or if you are a believer who's been studying for years and you know the Word of God and you're very studious but even if you were the latter which I would say I am I'm not being arrogant or anything I just have been a believer a long time I've taught the Bible I've taught the other five major world religions I've taught on cults um, I have studied at CARM C-A-R-M dot org you can actually get a certificate degree there I didn't get the degree because I didn't finish but I did a, I still reference it a lot I just it's time it's time to go get the certificate uh, uh, consecutively time because uh, I've even paid for it twice and I still did not have time to finish it but anyway um, which is silly but I don't mind get, contributing to um, CARM because I am a donator to them because they are one of those things remember how we talked about if you're gonna donate it, could you donate that you really believe in? I believe in CARM. I think they do a great job of, of explaining things. CARM is C A R M dot org. It stands for Christian Apologetics Research Ministry. And Matt Slick started it and he has a team now. And just about any question you could ask on the Christian faith, the denominations, uh, Roman Catholicism, because it's not considered a denomination, um, but all the Christian denominations. And then other world faiths and views some are not considered faiths their views or lifestyles like Buddhism to talk to a purist who a Buddhist or Buddhist as they call themselves uh, they don't consider it a world faith even though the world does um, because it's an offshoot of Hinduism and it's really more as they say a lifestyle but most people would say their religion is their lifestyle so anyway um, but it is an atheist point of view and therefore but even that is a form of faith in being anti-faith anyway uh, and I don't want to get into too much depth but um anyway oh y'all I think that guy's homeless that breaks my heart yeah he was laying down in the grass and now he's just walking that breaks my heart There's people better than me that have systems and, and ways to help people who are in trouble, homeless or whatever. But I'm in an area right now that I'm driving in that I don't even see where that would be. And that guy just looks like he's in trouble or just lonely or worn out. That always bothers me. I'm sorry, y'all. I get distracted. I don't know if he's waiting on somebody because he keeps looking back this way now. He was literally laying down the grass and maybe he's tired. Maybe he's waiting for a bus and he just started walking. Oh, no, no. He's walking back this way. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm worried. I hope he's okay. I really hope he's okay. Oh, no. He's walking out into the street. I hope he's okay. Oh, Lord, please help him. If I knew something I should do, I would do it. In Jesus' name, amen. 
I'm not gonna say I'm sorry because last time I prayed for somebody with just without thinking I was on video I said I'm sorry y'all and someone said don't ever apologize for praying and you're right you should never apologize for praying it's just I am videoing and it was a distraction but I have many distractions when I'm talking to y'all as you very well know so anyway I do you know what if nothing else I want to encourage you to do what I just did I'm not great God's great and if somebody's in trouble, you should stop what you're doing and pray for them. That might be why God had them cross your path. Not that you can do anything. Sometimes my husband says, babe, you can't always do something physical or something monetary or whatever. But prayer does have power in it. And you are doing something when you stop and pray. But I don't want you to get out of that car in a bad area of town and say, can I help you? When somebody might knock you over the head and say, yes, I'm stealing your car. But they may not too, but you know, I agree. It's not always a safe thing to do. So, but it's always a safe thing to pray. So anyway, if that calls you to do nothing else, but the next time you see a situation, you stop and pray. Even if someone's in the car or you're videoing or whatever, that person may need to see that they need to do it. So you're sending an example. Uh, and also we just need to not be too busy to at least do that. And. Uh, when I say at least, I don't mean it's nothing. Prayer is more powerful than any of the physical stuff. So, anyway. So, I was basically talking about the giveaway. Um, why I'm keeping it. Continental U.S. only. And I love all you international people so much. It's just I can't do giveaways outside the U.S. So, I'm sorry. Because I love countries besides the U.S. I just love the U.S. the best, though I do. But I do love some other countries. I love France. I think it's beautiful. And um, I want to visit Iceland. I hear it's absolutely stunning. I do like to travel. It's just a tough time to travel in the world, isn't it? Anyway. Well, so hopefully I'll be uploading after this. Love you guys. Bye.